What's good team, Evan here for Grips.com, continuing with my series of what I learned from the Universal Championship of Poker. So the first big thing that I learned from the UCOP is that immersion equals results. So if you want to get results at something as quickly as possible, you have to fully immerse yourself in the experience. Let me talk a little bit about what I was talking about. So for the UCOP, I decided I was going to play poker for eight days straight. I was going to play one to two tournaments every day. And when I wasn't playing, on the days where there was only one event scheduled, I decided I was going to study poker so that I could be developing my game even when I wasn't playing. Um, this was a very powerful exercise for me because I was learning a lot of stuff from the material, but my mind knew that, hey, this is important stuff for me to retain because I had to put it into practice shortly thereafter. It's kind of that thing where like, if, if you just read a book on something you're interested in, but you never go practice that thing, you are probably slowly but surely going to forget all the material that you learn in that book because you're not making it routine. You're not recalling that information as often as it is required to keep it fresh. So that was one of the benefits of you know, really immersing myself in the experience. Another one is that the things that at first were kind of difficult or kind of rusty became very routine because I had to do them every day. Things like, you know, setting up my heads up display, moving things in the right position, taking player notes on my opponents, um, you know, opening which softwares I wanted to use. Even things like my, my Twitch game become very much routine because I knew kind of what was an amount of chatting that I could maintain, how much was enough talking for people and how much was too little. And, you know, what were the things that needed to be done every day? And those were the things that became routine. And then, and then suddenly I didn't have to worry about them anymore. They just became habits so I could free up my brain power for more creative things or, or more useful things. Like, if you guys check out the archives from the tournaments that I played, you will see that my blind defense was, was way better than it has been in any previous streams. I defended my blind way more with great results. My leading game was extremely on point. Uh, my reshoving game was also extremely on point. My, my timing for reshoves was much better. My criteria for reshoving was much looser per se, but still correct. Uh, my willingness to get in there and gamble was much more on point because I wasn't worrying about like, oh, this is my one tournament for the week. And then, you know, it's going to be another week before I get one, so, so I don't want to lose it. I was like, no, I'm focused on getting the points, and I'm focused on making, making the most money. So I'm just going to focus on making the decisions that are going to make that happen. Um, you'll also see that my note-taking was very on point and very relevant to the situations. And the reason for this is because all the new information that I was learning from Alex, I was implementing right away and reinforcing. Every day I was reinforcing it and doing it more where it's like, okay, this is how it works, and kind of fine-tuning it and realizing you know, what was correct about it and what was incorrect about it, and then fine-tuning it, fine-tuning it, fine-tuning it until, until I really, really got it. And I'll bet if I went back and played right now, uh, my, my leading game and all that wouldn't be as on point because I would be out of flow and I would be out of rhythm. And that's the power of you know, fully immersing yourself in the experience. And that's actually what you know, Greg Merson did uh, in his epic year where he won player of the year, the six max, the main event, is that he was playing so much every day. He was constantly in the poker zone, just poker, 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 repetition, 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 such that when he showed up to play, all the decisions were, were very easy and were very automatic. And therefore, he had a lot of energy to get through the day, a lot of free resources to make more creative plays. And just his game was on point. He was making much fewer mistakes because he was so much more in rhythm and used to, um, you know, doing what he needed to do, which is playing great poker. The other reason that immersion is extremely effective is because the brain realizes, you know, what it needs to focus on, and it's only focusing on one thing. So as you're focusing on one thing, your brain starts to look for other things that might support you in your quest to do that one thing, as opposed to things that may distract you and take you away from your quest. You know, if you're focusing on two or three things at the same time, your mind is going to be taking on a lot of different information that doesn't support, you know, whatever your primary focus is. And that's why the power of having one single focus is so strong because all the additional information you're going to take in, all the ways that your, your unconsciousness is going to act out and manifest action are going to be in ways that support your one goal as, to, as opposed to supporting two or three things that may be conflicting 
with your primary goal. So if you want to experience, so if you want to experience the best results that you can in your poker game, I have an exercise for you to do. And it is to map out a schedule that involves both playing and studying. And if you want to get the best results from this, I actually encourage you to map it down to the hour and see exactly how much time you're going to spend on studying. Identify exactly what you're going to be studying so you don't look through a video library being like, what do I want to watch? And then I want you to do the same with your play. Identify exactly what game you're going to play, how many tables you're going to play, how long you're going to play for, and then maybe mark down how much time you want to spend reviewing your sessions. If you do that and you stick to it, I promise you, you will, you will feel crazy changes happen very quickly and you will feel the results happening very fast. I know that by the end of the UCOP, I was playing some of the best poker of my life. And if it weren't for me creating a schedule that was a bit too demanding on myself, requiring three full days of recovery after it was all said and done, I wish that I could have just continued to keep playing and playing and playing because I was so in rhythm, so in tune with what was going on, so in touch with the game flow and seeing really great results because of it that I wished I just could have kept on riding that momentum through and through to a, a massive score. And that's kind of the recipe for getting success in, in any field is, is full immersion and full commitment. So you guys know now to uh, map out a schedule and see how it goes for a week and just see how you feel after it. And if you guys want extra credit, I would like you to write down your schedule for the week in the comments section of this video. And then next week, I would like you to come back to the video and respond to that comments with in what ways your game improved and how much better you feel about your play from having created that schedule, being very specific and focused with your time and seeing the results that came from that. Um, yeah. And, and, and that's it for um, the first thing. The first big revelation key takeaway I had from the UCOP is that immersion equals results. So please do the homework. And when you're done with that, you know what to do. Take what you learned. Go out there and get stacking.